Hey everyone, so today in this video, we'll be filling the form of IMUCET 2024. Yes, the forms are already out. It has been two days. And uh, so let's start. Now just go on the official website of IMU, that is imu.edu.in. Uh, click on go on home page. From here in the admission section itself, you can see admission 2024 and 25. You have to click on that option. Uh, if you'll hover on the apply now on the right hand side, you will find an option to apply for IMU CET 2024-25. If you are registering for the first time, then click on new registration. Uh, interface will be opened um, where you can download the prospectus from. This prospectus is the updated prospectus and uh, contains all the rules and regulations. For those who are giving IMU CET, page number 36, 37 and 38, you can click and find it out from there itself. That will be the most important part. Leave that now. Just uh, click on the checkbox and click on proceed. Here, uh, your basic registration starts. You start with the choice of CET applying for that is DNS and uh, candidate's name. Please make sure that it is a full name of yours, as well as it should match with the name that is on your Aadhaar card as well as passport. If you don't have a passport, 10th certificate then. Then the nationality, you choose Indian PWBD, person with benchmark disability, click on no. Gender, choose accordingly, male, female or transgender. Category, you uh, can choose generally, you don't need any certificate for that. Except that any reservation category, you will need a caste certificate. Central or state. Date of birth, choose as per yours. The criteria, you must be knowing it, it is 17 to 25 years of age on the 1st of August 2024. So you, when you'll click here, you'll get the date, uh, sorry, you'll get the age of yours on the 1st of August 2024. Then you have to mention your email address. Please make sure that the email address is correct because all the communications from the IMU will be done on this email only. You have to confirm the email and uh, move further to the mobile number. Now, please make sure that this number is also correct because uh, IMU will get the very same number of yours. Now you'll fill the CAPTCHA. Here it is 8GSS8U. And then you have a checkbox down there. Click on it and click on submit. Uh, then confirm and submit after checking everything. Then you have your email ID from where you have to verify your phone number as well as your. email id then uh, you click on confirm you have your personal details after that so father's name mother's name guardian's name which is not mandatory parents and guardians contact number is also not mandatory but later on in the form we'll see that uh, once we click on proceed it will come and ask you to mention the phone number as a mandatory column we are leaving it for the example. Now, if your answer is correct, click yes. Otherwise, no photo ID. You click on uh, any one of those. Here, we are choosing Aadhaar card. And the religion you choose, your blood group you choose. If you don't have your blood group or you know about it, go to the doctor and get yourself one. Uh, status, not married, I guess, everyone. And uh, mother tongue is Hindi. Your gardens, occupations you have to choose. The annual income, you can give an estimate out here. Then uh, do you belong to any state, special state? You can mention and check from here. Uh, medical standards, yes. Passport, if yes, click yes. Otherwise, no. They'll ask you passport number if you have clicked on yes. Then uh, how did you know about the Maritime University? You can choose from the options uh, down here. You can uh, mention any, it doesn't matter. Then your comes permanent address here. Please make sure that it is from any address proof of yours. Passport is the recommended one, but if you don't have it, uh, Aadhaar card might be the one to be kept in reference from. Then you have your uh, house, apartment or flat number, your street or location. The place of residence, the rural means uh, village and urban means city. Now, your street and address location, please fill the address properly because uh, you won't be able to change it later on. Now, city, town, country, state, and district, uh, as per yours. Then the pin code must be correct. 
and matching any address proof of use. Later on uh, in the correspondence address, you can click on the checkbox if it is same as the permanent address given above. Uh, once done, you can go down and enter the security code and move further. So as you can see here, the parents and guardians contact number, although not being in an asterisk mark, is a required field. So we'll fill that and then try to proceed. Okay, well, so let's see what comes next. Now here you have to click on no in this option. Please don't click on yes, otherwise you'll face difficulties in filling the form. Uh, graduation details will be asked to be filled and it will be mandatory if you click on yes in that option. Now here you choose the preference of your examination. Uh, this preference, this uh, list is given in the page number 37 of the prospectus. Now, preference three is your Delhi, so you can choose accordingly. Now, class 10th details are being asked here. Your result status, is it passed or not? Then uh, name of the school and name of the board. Your qualifying examination state, that is in which state you qualified your exams from, then your qualifying examination district. That is the district of your school, rather. Then uh, year of passing will be asked, and your roll number. The roll number is generally there in your mark sheet or admit card of your class tenth. And uh, there in the door option, there is: Did you only get a passing certificate without writing the COVID during the COVID? So if you have uh, not given any examination of class tenth and uh, you passed without giving an examination and have the mark sheet then click on click on yes in that otherwise no if you'll click on yes you your marks will be 50 50 percentage by default and you will not be asked to enter any marks in there doesn't matter if even if you put yes or no matters less So here you can see the year of passing please make sure that you don't do any mistakes in all these things uh, later on, if uh, failing to mention correct ones, you will be uh, facing problems and you might have to fill the form again with another email ID and phone number, which will be problematic for you. Now, the maximum marks in English was 100 and out of 100, this guy got 99 and 600, uh, the maximum marks in total, last month, 46. So, the percentage, as you can see, is already being calculated and you don't need to uh, calculate the percentage and write by your own. So we'll just see. Now the class 12th marks or details. Uh, it is passed in uh, which board and university. Choose as per yours. Name of the school and colleges or institution. So the same out here. So just copied and pasted. <clears throat> then qualifying examination here. State is asked, so as turn and sometimes it doesn't come, so just wait for a second, then click on the district. And the year of passing is asked, and the roll number, roll number will again be on the you know mark sheet of yours only. After that, your English marks, that is maximum marks. Uh, in southern India boards, there are maximum marks 120, and that's why it is asked out here. So English 100, Physics 100, Chemistry 100, all 100 marks maximum and obtain marks must be mentioned there. And you can see that the percentage is automatically being calculated and put. Uh, you don't need to do that by yourself. So maximum marks in Maths 100 and out of 100. Yeah, 64. So once you fill all these things, you will have to uh, also mention, you yeah, upload your documents of 11th and 12th. So just be ready with it. Uh, make a PDF of that. Uh, instructions will be clearly mentioned in the very next page. What is the dimension of the photos and all? It is less than 1 MB for PDFs, I guess. Let's see. So the total marks of class 12th are equivalent and the marks obtained. Everything will be calculated by their own. Later on, you have to go enter the security code and 
click on submit here all the instructions are given you have to upload it all photo then your signature click upload after that signature hot gear now open the signature again and upload it your category certificate uh, it is mandatory if you have mentioned any category agar nahi kiye ho this option will be there but you will not need to fill it and uh, after that your signature is done 10th mark sheet in pdf format so just open up upload it your 12th mark sheet and done <clears throat> now upload it and here the graduation certificate will not be asked because remember you mentioned in the very that uh, pdf that sorry window no there so if you have mentioned yes then the graduation certificate must be put there Here you can you know choose the QR code or any option of payment that you wish to do and click on it. Scan the QR code in this one and pay the amount. Once the amount is paid, you click on OK and your forms and all details will be mentioned out here. You print the document and save it uh, in your computer for your reference. and then here you can see you can sign on sign in rather uh, by the username and password that you already have here in this pdf you can see page number 36 32 of the file sorry 36 of the file and 32 of the prospectus and 33 34 you can see the criteria and all everything clearly and explicitly mentioned it that's all for the video if you want to prepare for imu cet and sponsorships you can join imu meet the batch has already been started and will be starting more uh, further on so if you are interested do contact on the number that must be given in the description join the whatsapp group that's all take care have a nice day all the best